guys, so this week's training video is all about how to bring long lasting change and transformation into your life. So the, the first point that I feel I need to, to make is all about taking responsibility. So it's not that I'm apportioning blame, but we do need to realize that we directly create our reality through our thoughts and our feelings as I've explained in previous videos and previous trainings our thoughts and feelings have this energy that kind of flows out of us and directly impacts on our environment even to the point where it creates it so our environment is a a direct reflection of our consciousness and of our minds. So by taking responsibility for this and by owning this, but I'm not, you know, I'm not talking about blame, but you know, ju just realizing that that our thoughts and this and our feelings have gone quite a, a long way to creating what happens to us in our lives. It also means that we can then start to harness our thoughts and feelings, shift them into a more positive um kind of feeling and and this will directly filter out into our reality so although it's quite a scary thought it's quite an empowering one because we know we can do something about it so that's the first thing that i want to say take responsibility you know start to own what you're thinking about you know your thoughts your feelings what you're you know what you're kind of putting out there to the universe because the universe is is simply there to love and guide and support us. So whatever we're focusing on and putting out there, it's simply being kind of reflected and magnified and amplified and given back to us through the law of attraction. So we need to realize this and really need to pay attention to how we're thinking and feeling so that we can kind of shift our focus from a more negative to a more positive one so that we can bring this positivity into our lives. So the next thing that we need to do is start to prepare what I like to call our environment to bring in these changes and these, and these shifts. Because we're not just talking about our emotions, which obviously is a huge part to, to our, our, you know, our shifting and changing and transformation. But also we need to look at our environment, start preparing that because this in turn is going to support us in the positive changes that we want to bring into our lives. So what I mean by environment is our physical environment, so our home and maybe our workspace if we go out to work. Our mind, as I've mentioned before, you know, our thoughts and our feelings because they're so, so powerful and our habits. So, you know, in other words, what we're doing is we're looking at all of these aspects and we're you know, looking at the things within those areas of our lives that no longer serve us so that we can get rid of them to bring in new positive things that will kind of help support us in our quest for transformation. So in other words, it's decluttering. We're basically decluttering. And this is why it feels so good to declutter because we're basically creating this energetic space or vacuum to kind of suck in new and better things for us. So what what I need you to do is, you know, if you've been inspired by this video and you want to really start to help support yourself, you need to start identifying what needs to go in your, you know, in these different aspects of your environment. So I have a downloadable resource, a table that you can fill in and help you to prepare and identify the things that and list the things that need to go. But let's just have it, let's go through each aspect and let's, um, you know, I'm going to give you some examples so you understand exactly what I mean. But with your mind, so that's your thoughts and your feelings, which make your emotions. I want you to identify, you know, those thoughts and feelings that no longer serve you. So in other words, a negative or dense that bring you down. So you're just going to jot those down. You know, maybe your your main ones at first. You know, just go easy on yourself. We're going to do kind of little steps, step by step changes. So we're just going to maybe put down three or four of the major ones. Um, the next thing are, is your home or workspace or both. So I want you to go round your house and then your workspace and identify those rooms or parts of the rooms that 
first of all need um, you know need organizing need decluttering basically and then maybe a list of the objects that need to go so you know I'm talking photos paintings you know um, decorative items objects um, obviously there are some things that will have a sentimental value and if they do and they hold happy memories and they serve you in some way right so you know those are fine to stay you'll you'll know you'll know as you go around um, you know you could look at your wardrobe as well uh, you know your clothes your you know there's all sorts of things that you could be looking at um, so that's your mind, you know, your thoughts, emotions, and then your actual physical environment, so your home or workspace. And then you, we, we're going to take a look at the habits. So these are the things that you do regularly. We all have good and bad habits. So I'm thinking about the foods that you eat, the exercise that you do, your daily routines, you know, things like, do you go to bed too late? Do you wake up? Um, very late in the morning, you know, do you not eat very good foods that don't nourish you and, and make you feel good? Um, you know, what, what TV programs are you watching that kind of bring you down a little bit that are not very inspirational? Are you watching a lot of news that's not always positive, is it? Or are you on social media, you know, YouTube, are you watching things that or listening or reading about things that are not great, you know, look at all those things and list them and think, are they serving me? You know, are they making me feel good? List them down and then we're going to start by letting them go. Now, I don't expect anyone to go through their whole home and completely declutter it in one day because you'd be absolutely exhausted and I doubt you'd be able to do it, but just take one space where you're just going to focus on and declutter, okay? Um, you know, and then by doing this, you're basically creating this energetic space or vacuum to allow new things to come in. And I always say it like a snake skin, like a snake set, shedding its skin to reveal a lovely shiny one, a new one underneath. And this is how it feels to me. Once we've done that, once we've created a bit more space in our lives, it's time to make those loving choices. And what I mean by that is those things that nourish the soul, that make us sing. It could be lifelong ambitions that you've never managed to do, or it could just be small, simple actions that you could take. So the example that I gave was, you know, decided to just spend a little bit more time on my appearance because it was always all always about getting the kids ready for school and I'd leave myself five minutes to get ready and it just wasn't happening so I've tried to kind of make um pay more attention and more care to my wardrobe how I dress I brush my hair try and dress it with different hair accessories maybe wear a bit of lipstick you know try and do those things and it just makes me feel better it's like a loving choice you know I, I'm very faddy with my foods I always have been actually but I like to feel good. I like to eat foods that look good and colourful that I know are going to give me energy. So in that way, I feel I'm making loving choices for myself. I've made a commitment to myself not to watch the news or listen to the news on the radio because I just feel that it kind of brings me down and it, it's kind of of a denser frequency and I know it's not doing me any good so I've made a choice not to listen to that so you know the, the, these are just some examples of how I'm doing that for myself the other thing was I bought some napkins like proper cloth and like linen napkins for the table because I was kind of fed up of using kitchen paper and it just kind of dresses the table it looks nice it gives me pleasure um you know so it's all those things that you could start to be doing for yourself what you could do with the, you know, once you've made that list and every week you maybe choose one or two things on the list to look at and let go, with those things you could either gift them to somebody or give them to charity and that just kind of prolongs that cycle of giving and receiving, it's an energy, you know, it's going to help you to bring in more things into your life and let go of the things that are no longer serving you but may serve somebody else. Um... And now I'm just going to come to the at the end of this trend. I'm going to give you a couple of kind of daily practices that I do for um, kind of a mental and emotional clearing. Because I talked about this earlier on. You know, how do we go about it? It's easy for me to say, yeah, let go. Identify the negative emotions and just let go of them. That's 
you know, it's easy said than done, isn't it? So I just wanted to share share with you how I actually go about this. And I do this every day at the moment. I'm doing this every day. And, you know, things evolve for you. They'll change. But I'm definitely focusing on this every day because it really helps me. So as soon as I wake up, I kind of tune in and key in to the emotions that I'm feeling. So the thoughts that I'm thinking, the feelings that I'm feeling. And especially with the feelings, what I do is I just kind of identify them. So I may say to myself, to myself, oh, I'm feeling a bit worried or feeling a bit sad or feeling a bit annoyed or angry or whatever it is. And I just allow myself to feel that feeling. So I just feel into it without attaching the thought. That's important because before you know, you can get caught up in your whirlwind, can't you? You're down with spiral of negativity. But just feel it. And as you feel it, what you'll notice as time goes by and you do this regularly, the power that it has over you just dissipates. It just kind of lessens and dissolves a little bit. And this is really empowering because you're actually allowing yourself to feel it to let go. Because I feel that a lot of us, what we do is we just kind of don't want to go there. So we stuff it down, you know, try to ignore it, pretend it's not there. And it just doesn't serve a purpose because it's going to come out, it's going to come up bigger, uglier, bite us on the bum. And, you know, it's not good. So what we've got to try and do is feel it to let go. And I really genuinely believe that this is the only way that we do it, that we get to do it, um, you know, really, really, um, efficiently for ourselves you know and it will take time it's not something you're going to be doing and mastering and nailing all at once you know you may do but I certainly didn't I'm still practicing now and I still get caught up from time to time and things in my downward spiral of negativity but I definitely managed to move through it quicker and catch it and feel it to let it go a lot quicker now so that's your emotional clearing. What you can do with your thoughts, say if you've got one or two that you have regularly, very persistent thoughts, you know, we know we all know the ones. Um, you can just say to them, not today, I'm not going to listen to you today. You know, it's not serving any purpose for me. I'm just not going to go there today. You know, because that's, as I always, always say, that is all they are, are. They're just thoughts, they're feelings, they're not who you are. They don't control you. Don't allow them to have too much power over you you know, you are going to become that boss of your thoughts and feelings. So you decide, I'm not going to listen to you today. Okay, so that's just a couple of things there. Um, so there we go, there we have it. So how to bring long lasting change and transformation into our lives. So we've looked at taking responsibility for our, you know, what we're creating within our lives. And you can always look at previous blog posts. I think I've got one called Weave Your Own Reality and that goes more in depth into that one. And we looked at preparing our environment, our physical environment, our mind and our habits so that we can let go of the things that no longer serve us to make space for the new things. And we also, I gave you a specific procedure to help with negativity and releasing negative emotions. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening.